All right. So now you're on the back of the second page of Activity 2. And just like before on the front, I want you to practice solving these two problems. So go ahead and make your plan. And begin solving. When you're finished, you can unpause the video and check your work with mine. All right, when I look at this problem and I think about my grouping symbols, I don't have any, so I'm gonna go ahead and cross that piece off. The next thing would be my multiplicative actions. So when I survey my problem, I see that I have adding and multiplying. So I'm gonna underline that piece first. So the part that I will solve will be two times five, which is 10. And I'm gonna drop my addition sign and my adding sign. So when I look at my problem, I don't have any more adding signs or subtracting, adding, I mean, I don't have any multiplicative actions, so I'm gonna cross that off. And the only thing that is left is to add. So when I have the number eight and I add 10, I get the number 18. 18 is my final answer. Go ahead and make your plan for the next problem. Good morning, staff. Pardon the interruption. All right, so when you make your plan, you're thinking about your grouping symbols, multiplicative actions, and additive actions. So as I look at this problem, I see one, two, three actions that are going to be taking place in this expression, which is why I will be completing three different steps. So at this time, I want you to pause the video. I want you to solve on your own, see what you come up with, and then unpause the video to check your work with mine. So now we have the number 18 minus 13, and 2 plus 1. They're both in grouping symbols, and since they're both additive actions, I'm going to start at the left and move to the right. So I'm going to underline 18 minus 13, and 18 minus 13 is the number 5. Then I'm simply going to rewrite the rest of this. You may want to go ahead and take this multipli multiplicative sign, this multiplying sign, and just turn it into an X. So you can drop that down and drop everything into place. Remember, we do not change the order or we will not get the correct answer. When I go back to my list of things to do, I still have some grouping symbols. So I'm going to underline two plus one. Two plus one is the number three. I'm gonna drop my multipl multiplication sign and the number five. So now when I look at this problem, I'm done with my grouping symbols. I'm looking for multiplic multiplicative actions. So we have five times three, and five times three is going to give me the answer 15. And that is my final answer. There are no additives after my grouping symbols. If your work doesn't match mine, please change yours at this time to make sure that yours looks just like mine before you turn it in.